Chris Court, and I work at Channel 2. Well, here at Channel 2, I am a uh, producer. Currently, I'm in charge of our 6 o'clock newscast. Basically, that makes me the composer of the symphony, if you will. I'm uh, in charge of all the all the reporters that are in my show, all the uh, all the news stories. I pr pretty much anything that happens between six and six thirty is uh, is my responsibility. Really, every uh, everything that I do here really got its uh, its start in Coffeeville, learning all the basics of editing, how to uh, how to write, you know, how to use a camera, how to do pretty much everything that I do today. You know, I started learning in Coffeeville. It's a uh, really just the foundation of everything. Learning to edit tape to tape, computer editing. Um, how to uh, how to direct a show, how to you know run certain pieces of equipment, you know all that stuff. I uh, I learned in Coffeeville. The biggest piece of advice I would have I actually got from uh, Mr. Derma about ten years ago. You know, be realistic and think about you know do this because you want to do it, because it's uh, you know it's a passion. It's something you really enjoy doing. It's not a uh, not a job. It's a hobby that you happen to get paid for. You know that's why you, you know you want to get into this business. You know, anybody that uh, has been in the business for more than about two days knows that it's not for the money. You know, it's uh, really just for, you just have to have that passion for, for what you do. You know, regardless of, you know, being a, being a journalist or being in broadcasting, it's any field. But, you know, specifically as it relates to broadcasting, you know, you just want to love what you do and enjoy it. Hi, I'm Tom Watts, Program Director and Morning Host for 96.9 The Cow, KKOWFM, Pittsburgh, Kansas. What I do here at 96.9 The Cow, I am the morning show host now for the past 12 years and uh, program director for the past 12 years as well. I've uh, been here for a total of 18 years uh, in very different positions on air uh, for the entire time, but handling all kinds of different uh, odd jobs and duties, even taking out the trash when needed. One of the biggest advantages I found with Coffeeville Community College was hands-on day one. I, I was, you know, you know, firing up the mics, the cameras, going out and doing interviews the first day. And again, it was a little bit intimidating to start, but again, it was something I was doing the first day of school that if I were at a four-year school, I would have to wait till a junior or senior year level course to dip my toe into that pond. And I was doing it day one at Coffeeville Community College.